Greetings friends. Welcome to HCBN's Kitchen. My name is Dorothy and I am a medical missionary from UT Pines Institute in Seal, Alabama. And today we're going to be demonstrating another wonderful, totally plant-based dish. It's called the potato, the curry potato. Um, typically this dish is made with chickpeas, but we were not able to find chickpeas in the Philippines, so we decided to improvise. So we will be using um, some white kidney beans instead. But before we, we get going, let's have a word of prayer. Lord God, thank you for the opportunity to make this chickpea, um, this curry potato dish. I pray that things will go well and that um, our viewers would be able to try this dish at home and be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. This is a dish, this is one of my favorite dishes to eat. And you can serve it with brown rice, with quinoa. Um, it's, a, it's really, it, it's so rich in, in so many nutrients that it definitely takes the place of meat. In terms of protein content, calcium, iron, you name it, it's packed. So what we're gonna be using today, we're gonna write the, the exact recipe for you in this video. But for the sake of time, I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm not gonna call out the, the measurements, I'm gonna just show you how to do it and you'll have the measurements written on the screen. So we're gonna be using white kidney beans because we could not find chickpeas. But I typically would make it with chickpeas. So I would recommend that if you can find it otherwise, We'll make it with that. So we have the beans. The first thing to do is to allow the beans to cook, to cook well. And once the beans are completely cooked, then you're gonna add, while they're in your pot, you're gonna add your garlic, minced garlic and onions to the mixture. So we put our onion, we put our garlic in there. And then the next thing, that we're gonna do, we're just gonna mix everything, all the seasoning, and then we're just gonna go ahead and add our vegetables. What we're using for vegetables today, we have potatoes, put the potatoes, and then we also have carrots, and we put our carrots. It's a really, really simple dish, but it tastes good. And then, the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna put our coconut milk. This is the magic weapon. You definitely wanna have, you cannot have curry without coconut milk. So we put the coconut milk. So essentially all our vegetables are gonna be cooking in this coconut milk mixture. And then the last thing that we wanna add, the last few ingredients, so we already had our garlic and our onions, so we also wanna put some red bell pepper. We put that in it, it definitely gives it a nice flavor. And then we're gonna put the curry ingredients. Typical curry ingredients, we're not using regular store-bought curry powder because typically it has black pepper in it, which is not good for our health. It's, it's, an irrit it's very irritating to the linings of our, of our GI system, of our stomach. So we're gonna have our own homemade curry right in our pot. So what we're gonna be using to have a curry flavor, you definitely wanna have cumin. So we're gonna put some cumin in there. And don't worry, we'll give you the exact measurements in this video later on. So we put the cumin, and we're also gonna be using some coriander. So it's cumin, coriander, and turmeric. These three, they must go together to have curry flavor. And then, where's our turmeric? And then we're gonna put our turmeric. And then once we do that, we have our, uh, our curry base. And what we're gonna do, you add the, cur you know, the, the turmeric, it's added just to give it this nice um, yellow color. And other ingredients that we wanna add would be onion powder, garlic powder, um, thyme. I really, really like to have thyme in my chickpea curry or potato curry. So we put that, and then we're just gonna put some salt to taste and let it cook, let it boil until the potatoes are soft. Remember, the, the beans are already cooked. So all that we're looking to get is to cook the potatoes and the carrots. So you let it cook until everything is, is, is done. And when everything is done, last but not least, we add the tomatoes. Because tomatoes are easy to cook, we don't want to have them all the way in the beginning with everything. And then the last thing after we add the potatoes, before serving it, I like to add some fresh frozen peas, fresh peas or frozen peas. It just add really beautiful color to the dish because you're gonna have the white of the potatoes, the, the orange of the carrots, the red of the tomatoes, and the green of the, of the 
piece. It's just really, it's beautiful to behold in the yellow of the turmeric. So we're gonna cook this and then we're gonna show you the final products. Wasn't that super easy? I hope you can try it with, for your family. I guarantee you, it's very simple, no brainer, but it's really delicious. Well, let's have a word of prayer and then we'll show you our final product at the end of this video. Father, thank you very much for allowing us to make this quick but healthy and delicious dish. I pray that our viewers will try it at home and that it will, I know it will be a blessing and that everyone who will try it will enjoy it. Bless them, Lord, and help them to continue to honor you in all that they do. In Jesus' name, amen. Coming Broadcasting Network.